Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a uh, Copper Ja showcase. I'll just show off the Pokemon real quick. Conkleder's knockoff, not available. Bronze Long's Explosion. Well, tell you what, that's not the team we wanted to use anyway. You see, we're actually going to be using this uh, Rain team here. And by this Rain team, I mean this other team over here with Copper Ja. So, uh, we're going to be also using uh, Banded Darmanitan, which is going to be a lot of fun. You can also consider this a uh, Darmanitan Galarian showcase, even though we used it in the last live. Uh, Copper Shaw is really slow. I tried using a uh, Trick Room team with it, but uh, as you just saw, obviously knockoff on Conk is not allowed and such. So, you know, I could change up the Mons a little bit, could change up the team, but decided I'm just going to be running this team, which is a lot of fun. It's also going to be featuring Poltegeist and Grimmsnarl, which is pretty cool. So we're going to just find the team right here and hop into a game. Uh, Copper Jaw is actually really cool. With uh, Power Whip, it's able to, with the uh, Dynamax move, it's able to knock out things like Rotom and Seismitoad, which obviously you can see on my opponent's side of the field. So I'm debating whether or not I actually want webs because as you can see he has a Bisharp on his team. Uh, however, I am going to lead Darmanitan. This Mon should die to my obstacle crash and I'm going to click it. I mean if it doesn't die it's obviously oh my goodness it ate. I'm a banded Darmanitan, are you kidding me? That is oof, I did not expect that at all. Uh, so he's gonna be able to get up webs. I really don't know if I want to get up webs because that Bisharp is actually really scary versus my team. And Grimmsnarl can't even really deal with it. I'm impressed that that lived. Like, I, I didn't know anything could live a hit from this thing. Like, even now, what do you go into? Obviously Drill if he's Scarf, but... I don't know if you'd be Scarf Drill on a webs team. It's probably Sash or Beetle anyway, but I mean, what? Is, how bulky is that thing? Sixty-one ten—that's not bad, actually. I feel like it still should have died though, because I mean, have you seen this thing? <laughs> My attack. Ignore the attack stat. That's only the attack stat with the choice band. This thing's actual attack stat. Attack stat is like two sixty, which is ridiculous. I'm also going to. Um, can I pop my Dynamax right now? I don't think I should. Um, I will break this thing's disguise. As we're forced out into Grimmsnarl. Um, I mean, I don't mind paralyzing this thing. Like, obviously, I'd rather not, but I will, basically. And then I can just go right back out into my Darm and click Icicle Crash and kill something. Uh, Darm Spun, obviously, you click Icicle Crash. You turned it 40% to a Ferrothorn earlier. That's pretty nuts. He's gonna sneak just to get off some chip. We are gonna be able to knock him out with the Crash, obviously. Uh, I'm pretty sure U-Turn does like 50 to Fizz Def Rotom. <coughs> like 50 or 52, which is ridiculous. He's gonna send out Obstagoon. I have no switch into this whatsoever, so I'm just going to crash and allow myself to be knocked out. Uh, I'm then going to go Robombi and just click uh, Moonblast. Obviously I need to get rid of this thing. He's going to facade that's going to bring me down to my sash, however we will live and obviously be able to knock him out with Moonblast plus Burn, which is great for me. The Bisharp is still kind of a threat, but Copper Josh should be able to take a hit. Though, I don't really have anything to knock it out with. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin kill. Um, however, what we're going to do is Acid Armor up. I don't have a way to touch Bisharp, but if he's not SD, which, I mean, of course he'd be SD, right? But for whatever reason he's not SD, we'd be able to live. I'm going to go hard out into Copper Jaw, though. And we're going to go for our Max Starfall. Uh, as he actually ends up going to Seismitude, which I do knock out with the max overgrowth. Um, I'm not going to outspeed you, obviously, but being Dynamax, obviously I have access to Power Whip. 
which is actually going to be really nice because I'm going to weaken the Excadrill's, um, no I'm not because I don't get a grassy terrain. I thought I did, but I might be negated because of Sheer Force. That would make sense if that were the case. Something interesting is Poltegeist. I don't think Poltegeist lives EQ, unfortunately, from Excadrill. Wait, um... That's li really, like, my only play, though. Like, it's not even a good play, but... I basically, I go Poltegeist, I attempt to live the Earthquake, I get my weak armor, and then... I don't know, I hit this thing hard or something, but... Yeah, we're just gonna drop. And again, there's really not a way that I can win this game. I'm just gonna spam, ac spam acid armor, hoping that somehow I'm able to hit this thing, or somehow that I'm able to uh, outstall this thing. I'll calm mind up because I don't think you're gonna hit me, and then I'm just gonna spam recover. I'm pretty sure you don't get knockoff anymore, so I don't know. I mean, you're gonna hit me with the. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. He's gonna pull away with this one. Uh, Bisharp is not the most common thing to deal with, but obviously when it shows up, it's a problem. Plus, having webs on my side of the field really hindered me. Fortunately, my opponent will have no such thing. We will lead Rabambi and get up webs. Uh, his only removal, I believe, is the uh, the Mew. Uh, he's going to leak left. I don't mind, I'm just going to get up webs. You are calm mind, but like I have a dorm, so I don't care that much. We do unfortunately miss the stun spore. Um, but I'm actually just gonna go hard copper aja because I have the sheer force iron head, which is gonna do a ton of damage. This is also cosmic power and not uh, the other thing. As you can care, <laughs> as you can see, copper aja doesn't care. I'm sorry, I misread that as um, calm mind, but. Wow, um, Copper Jaws a monster, apparently. <laughs> Y'all see that damage? My goodness, why are you going this? I mean, I understand why you're going this, but, like, why? Hey, you're still dead. You're gonna get a Veil. But I have webs up, so obviously Mew isn't too big of a deal. Mr. Rhyme, I don't even know what that thing does, but... So here's the Mew. I will just click Iron Head again does 33, which is actually very respectable. And now what I'm going to do... This doesn't... This isn't as valuable anymore. I'm just going to click the um, my Dynamax and hit him with a Max Steel move. As we are able to live the, uh, the Drain Punch. Which is pretty interesting, obviously, you know. Obviously, I'd be able to live that with uh, the increased defense. How much did that do? This is not going to kill, I don't think. No, it is, because... Yeah, I'm lower, obviously. But what's great is I just go U, and I click U-turn. <laughs> and you die. Goodbye. I don't care about your veil at all. So I think my play now is to go Grimmsnarl and taunt whatever comes in. I don't know if Mr. Rhyme gets anything ridiculous. I'm actually going to look that up now. So Mr. Rhyme removes screens and veil effects on switching. Does that include yourself? I mean, you get Calm Mind. That's about it. Uh, you're going to go right out into it. Again, we are going to taunt you. Yeah, you tried a nasty plot in my face. So obviously you're not Scarf. I will just hit this with a Darkest Lariat. Ends up doing a decent amount of damage. We will click it again. Thankfully, you're not a fairy anymore. You are a psychic, uh, and you're just gonna forfeit. All right, so that's gonna be a win for us. Uh, glad the uh, the team put on some work, put in some work there, I should say. Y'all see that damage onto the cleft? I'm still astounded by that. So my opponent. Yeah, fun. Using basically all the broken stuff right now. <laughs> Which is always fun. Um, 
I'll lead Darm as you lead Mew. This is excellent for me because I can U-turn out and do a ton of damage to anything. Obviously, if you're fast Mew with Willow, that sucks. But on this type of team, I feel like you'd be bulkier. Like, you have enough speed with, obviously, Sand Drill. This thing boosts its own speed. Pulte Gates after the Smash. Dragapult is the NASCAR Ghost Lizard Boy. So, yeah, we're going to be able to hit the Mew, which is fantastic. And I think I'm going to go right out into Rabombi. And I'm going to Moonblast as we're able to knock you out, which is fantastic. You're going to go into Excadrill, understandably. Um, however, I'm actually going to Stun Spore this. I don't mind him going for the um, the hit to kill me. And obviously I need Grimmsnarl healthy. The webs don't make that much of a difference, so... I will just Moonblast through some chip. I still have Speed you. Um... I'll Moonblast again. Uh, I know that you're going to get to plus 3 speed, so obviously you have speed. Uh, the boy over here. This boy, right here. But I can't go to Reuniclus. Just click Acid Armor. If he goes Titar, it's not a huge deal. He's actually going to Gigantamax immediately, which I do not mind, because you're going to waste your Gigantamax. Like, we're going to be able to eat that hit, and then I'm just going to recover up. Like, I eat that. I click recover one more time. That's going to give you plus defense. I do not care. I'll acid armor up again. Uh, like I said, this is not really that big of a deal to me. Like, I don't I don't care. You're not doing damage to me. And finally, we get a para as well. You have a T-Tar that you know walls me as well. I'm going to spam... No, your leftovers, not life orb, obviously. And then you're gonna get parried again. I don't know why he didn't go Titar. Like he knows my full set. As soon as you see acid armor, you know you can go straight out into Titar every time. But either way, I'll take it. See now he goes Titar. We will go Grim Snarl as he's Dragon Dance, actually. You shouldn't kill me with anything, so I'm going to click Spirit Break. Jesus Christ. That is way too much damage. Hopefully, Copper is Olive's a hit. I don't get why people are running, like, Dragon Dance on their Sand teams. But, you know, you do. Obviously. Wait, I still have Dynamax, so I can just do that now and eat the hit. And also get plus one defense. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh, Dragapult, buddy. Buddy. I mean, this mom's gonna come out, but. I'm gonna boost my defense again. And then I'm gonna smack this thing with the, uh,. The max overgrowth. Because I'm at plus two. You don't knock me out. And then I'm pretty sure play rough kills you. No, it does not. Interesting. I think I still live, though. Which play rough do? So Iron Head should definitely kill. What is this? What am I looking at right now? <laughs> I'll attempt to acid armor up. As we do. That's fantastic. Um, I'll recover here now. As you go for Waterfall. Great, so we beat this 1v1. At the moment, obviously. This being DD is so annoying. Alright, thankfully he didn't... Um, like, he's left over his DD, which is so weird. But Thankfully him doing that means I'm... Oh, it's so annoying. Um... Yeah, he goes hard. I wanted to pull a switch there, and I didn't. That's my bad. He's gonna DD up. I have to hope that he's bulky enough that somehow he doesn't have speed me. 
He goes hard Gera for some reason. That's going to allow me to 2 KO him. Um, and then I don't know if Pulti Gay still dies. I would imagine it does, but I, I, I couldn't tell you, honestly. It's like, again, like this is going to do a ton. Yeah. Did so much damage. And then we have this mob. I win the speed tie, he lives, but Sand is gonna knock him out self out knock him out on the next turn. As long as he does not knock me out with Shadow Ball, which he does not, Sand is gonna pick him off the kill. And that's gonna be GG. That was a great game. We're gonna get one more. Um the team's working pretty well so far. If you're gonna use Copper Jaw, I would recommend probably um, putting him in Trick Room if you're gonna use him offensively like this. But Webs works uh, pretty well as well. I'm gonna outspeed some of the some of the slower threats in the tier. You know, things like uh, Surf Fetch, things like Pulti Geist, I believe, things like Grim Snarl. So this is the game Copper Jaw really goes in. Obviously, he has the Ferrothorn, but, you know, we'll deal with that when we get there. I will lead Rabombi. As he leads Rabombi as well. Uh, he can go for webs if he wants, which he will. And then, obviously, you go Ferrothorn, so... I just go Darm. And I click Flare Blitz and pick up a 2 Ikea on something. Yeah, there should be nothing that switches into this. I mean, you can protect, that's fine. I really don't see what you go into. Like, Dragapult's still going to take a ton. Which is damage I need onto it. He's going to go Mew. Which is easily going to get to a KO'd. I doubt, again, you're speedy. So we're going to be able to knock out the Mew, which is just fantastic for me. I he is going to go Ditto. That is, that is your right to go to that Pokemon. However, we do have a Reuniclus. And you should be Scarf, which means I'm going to eat this hit. Not, you know... You know, eat is a, a strong word, but... <laughs> we're going to live the hit, basically. And we get Chip on him for later. Uh, with webs up on both sides of the field, I don't really mind it all that much. He's going to Thunder Wave me. Not a huge deal. Um... I can just Moonblast here. I don't mind if you go Ferrothorn. As he does. Um, I want to go hard Darm, but I really shouldn't. Alright, well now I will. Because you don't Gyro Ball or Reuniclus. Setting up, setting up more spikes. Perfectly fine with me. I don't have to predict. I just click Flare Blitz and watch something take a ton of damage. By all means, go out in a Dragapult. I'm going to start... I need Mammoth Swine on a team, because Dragapult is just too much of an issue, dude. There's way too much of an issue. I'm also not a huge fan of Ditto on every team. But obviously, you know, it makes sense when... that just, just dropped, Jesus Christ. Um, I have no removal, so I'm just going to click Flare Blitz, uh, which... Uh, allows me to die, obviously. I say no removal because I believe two spikes is going to be able to knock me out. Going to go out in a Grimmsnarl. I wish I had something to hit the Ferrothorn, but alas, we do not. Also, don't really have much to hit this. So you're, you're going to think I'm crazy. I'm going out into this, and I'm clicking Spirit Max a bunch of times. I have some speed onto this. You can't do that because I'm a Dark type, my dude. That's fantastic. You're probably going to go Ferrothorn. So I smack you with the Darkest Slayer. I should have taunted. But not really the biggest deal in the world. We are going to go Reuniclus. As he does go right back out into the Grim Snarl. I'll go Copper Jaw here. He does hit me with the Darkest Slayer. I didn't think he'd do that. But, you know, fair enough. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go Poltegeist. 
And as opposed to setting up, he goes into Ditto. Okay. I mean, I'll stack Rubombi here. It doesn't really do much versus his team. Like I said, I will click just Moonblast here. I can then go Grimmsnarl. Man, that Ferrothorn's really annoying, but I can double into Poltegeist as he goes into Ferrothorn. Wait, why would you go this? I mean, either way, I'm clicking this button, and hopefully it kills. I'm really hoping this kills. It does not. However, I don't die to that, which is fantastic. And now I can click my... I click this as you go Ferrothorn. Or, no, why? That doesn't make any sense. If I kill you, I win with Reuniclus. Okay, yeah, so I, I still win with Reuniclus. I really don't care if you copy mood, Ditto. Because I go my own Grimmsnarl and I T-Wave. Like, you can do that all you want. I set up my acid armor. If you go hard Dragapult, I'm trying to remember, did he use his? He didn't use his thing yet. So I have to go hard in a Copper Jaw again. He's special. That's. Or I have to sack my. my you know, that boy. That boy. I guess he wins then, because he's special on Dragapult. It's like really unfortunate, man. And he's. What? I'm a little confused now. Alright, I live. That's excellent news. I have to kill you. I, uh, do you kill me here? I mean, I obviously I wall you with Grimmsnarl, so it's irrelevant. And you decide to stay in, which is excellent for me. I stay in with this mon until I die. Because I click recover with uh, Reuniclus and we're fine. Again, I beat my own Ditto 1v1. Fa I'm gonna taunt you so you kill me faster. Yeah, that's it. And now we recover. And again, we're fine. We're Fizz Def. We eat Power Whip easily. Yo! Did nothing. I'm gonna get up to full. And this is where we start combining up. And yeah, he forfeits. That's great. I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, this live was about half an hour long. And I'm actually going to be going to bed pretty soon. Stayed up a little bit too late trying to record this live. Had a couple couple ones that I wasn't super happy with. But I think that this one went relatively well. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I think next time I'm going to do a Surfetch live. I know I've been saying that for a little while. But I tried to do a Surfetch live today. And the team just really struggled with all the garbage that kind of exists in the tier right now um like it just you know it's free setup for things like Gyarados it's a free setup for things like Dragapult and by free setup I mean just going for the Dynamax and winning uh so either way hopefully we'll get a team out with that tomorrow otherwise until then thank you guys very much for watching hope you all enjoyed and uh remember to subscribe I'm gonna start saying that more hopefully y'all don't get too triggered but not sure, that's not the right word to use in that situation, but subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm going to be uploading just about every day. New showdown live. Uh, eventually, I'll be coming with maybe some Battle Spot series stuff in Sword and Shield when we get to that point. But until then, see ya.